Confined spaces, permit or non-permit. What is a confined space, and what's the difference between a permit and a non-permit confined space? Workers may encounter a variety of confined spaces on a worksite, which may contain different hazards. Confined spaces. A confined space isn't designed for occupation by people, but it's large enough for a person to get inside and work. These spaces have limited or restricted means of entry or exit. Common confined spaces include tanks, silos, storage bins, vaults, pits, manholes, tunnels, ductwork, pipelines. Permit space. A permit-required confined space has one or more of these characteristics. Contains or has the potential to contain a hazardous atmosphere. Contains material that might engulf an entrant. Walls or floors converging inward or downward to a smaller area that could trap or asphyxiate the entrant. Contains another hazard, such as unguarded machinery, exposed live wires, or heat stress. Non-permit confined space. A non-permit confined space is a confined space that doesn't contain any hazard capable of causing death or serious physical harm. It also doesn't have the potential to contain serious atmospheric hazards. Permit confined space requirements. Permit spaces must be labeled with warning signs and access should be limited to authorized entrance only. Employers must develop a permit space program if employees must enter a permit confined space. This program includes hazard assessment, atmospheric testing, hazard controls, acceptable entry conditions, proper worker training, PPE and barriers, attendants stationed outside during entry operations, entry supervisors, emergency and rescue procedures. Confined space entry training. Before work begins, employers must provide training for workers required to work in permit-required confined spaces. Authorized entrants must know the hazards, such as inhalation or dermal absorption, and how to use protective equipment properly. OSHAcampus.com has the crucial confined space training necessary to prepare workers and keep them safe.